without too much imagination, it's easy to envision Arizona as a land of desert landscape, barren and trackless with no water to be found anywhere. However, anyone who visits a Corps of Engineers project in Phoenix's Valley of the Sun knows that that notion is all wet. In Phoenix's West Valley, across from the 91st Avenue Wastewater Treatment Facility, the Los Angeles District and its local partners have developed the Tres Rios Ecosystem Restoration Project. All wetlands are important because they provide important wildlife habitat, recreational benefits, and water quality protection. In the arid southwest, wetlands are even more precious and rare because most wetlands have been lost over the last hundred years. The Trace Rios is really special. It started out on a local level. It was able to grow into a larger project, look at other facets, and then finally we received a partner that was able to help us carry it to fruition. With this particular project here, we started off with an absolute flat field. We brought in a uh, scraper spread of uh, 657s, which are twin engine scrapers push-pull. We had a fleet of eight of them working in this area. We moved 870,000 cubic yards of earth, building the uh, ponds and uh, flowing regulating wetlands. Constructed wetlands are very effective in removing nutrients and other pollutants from treated wastewater while providing habitat values and a great recreational opportunity for the residents of the city. The wetlands area helps regulate flow into the Salt River as a treatment facility pumps in a steady stream of water. You have uh, five different municipalities that send their wastewater to this wastewater treatment plant out here. It gets chlorinated, gets treated, then it gets pumped over to this location out here where it gets analyzed by our chemical analyzer building there and then detained within these detention basins here and then they are controlled, automatically controlled to release into our flow regulating wetlands and then eventually release into the uh, overbanks. The area reintroduces nutrients into the otherwise dead water and provides a revitalized habitat for fauna. We're happy that the performance from this new facility has been excellent while providing these other benefits in terms of wetland habitat and recreational benefits. EPA will continue to monitor what's going on there and work with the city and the Corps on the project, but we're very optimistic that it's a, it's a successful project. For nature to reintroduce nutrients and balance the water, it would take six to ten miles of natural stream. In the wetlands, the same task is accomplished much quicker. The uh, whole goal of wetlands is you try to concentrate life into a, a very small area. And yeah, those organisms use the wetlands very aggressively, but they turn those resources that are in the water into something that's very usable after it's, after it's out of the wetlands. EPA commends the Army Corps and its partnership with the City of Phoenix to have the vision to come up with a project like that and carry it to completion. There's an oasis here in Phoenix. It was born of belief in the power of water and the desire to share it. For the Army Corps of Engineers, I'm Daniel J. Calderon.